Welcome back. Hope you are fine. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a timetable web app, which is basically used to show a timetable of your educational institution to your students. So here it's a multiple multi sheet timetable. It's for your R. It covers your all classes timetable in a single web app. For example, you can see here a drop down for class 10th and class 9th. And when I click on the class 9th, you can see the class 9th timetable show here. And when I click on the class 10th, you can see the class 10th timetable here. It's completely dynamically controlled. It cannot be controlled using manual coding. It will be automatically controlled using your Google Sheet. So let's take and have a look how its features works. And you can see here the color is green in this cell in English cell. This color you can adjust automatically using Google Sheet. So we take a look and uh, discuss its feature step by step. First of all, you can see here the day and the period is here. You can replace this text to as per your need. So you can uh, when I am going to replace the day. So every second the web app is updated. So you can see here the day is comes here. And when I am redo my action, so you can see here the day period is automatically comes. So, so same like this, you can see here the time. You can change the time of your period. Like for example, if I want to change to 1030, so you can see here on the main time it's updated to 1030. So when I am going to back redo my action, so you can see here the 10th 20 is come here. So same like you can see here the uh, timetable web app the Monday Tuesday and here's the name of the weeks. Uh, for example, the Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and here's you will see here the lecture number one the lecture two the lecture three the lecture four the lecture five the lecture six the lecture seven and if you have eight lectures in your class you don't need don't worry about to the coding you just copy this and paste it here and adjust your time here. For example, I give him a six. Okay, so you can see here one more is added here. Lecture number eight is added here. So when I am going to delete this and check my web app, so you can see here it's deleted. So same like this. So now come to how, how this color comes here. Example, so I want to uh, set the color here, uh, the red color. So this is a web app I use for getting color. So this color I want for English subject. So I just copy this code and in the colors, you can see this subject. You exactly paste this same spelling here. For example, English, I want to set English the this color. So you can see here this color is updated. For example, I want to set a uh, color in Urdu. Uh, in Urdu, I want to set uh, this color, for example, this color I want to set in Urdu, the green color. I just copy this code and paste it here. So you can see here in Urdu, it's automatically colors is updated. So in computer, for example, in computer, uh, in computer, I want to use the color. Example, I want to use the color, this one gray color, and I just copy this code and I just paste it here. And on the web app, you can see here on the computer fields, on the computer lectures where in which, so you can see here. Okay. So when I am going to uh, set color in AI, in AI, I will be set the red color because it's dangerous. So I am going to in AI, I, mean, I am going to giving her this blue color. Okay. So I just copy this and paste it here. So when I am going on to my web app, so you can see here my timetable is now pretty much look better. So on as like same when you want to enter a new class, don't need to coding, just add a sheet, rename your sheet. For example, it's a six class, six A. So you just copy this format. You just copy this format and paste it here. Okay. So when you are refresh your web app, so you can see here in your drop downs automatically comes in your drop downs. It will show all the sheets expect color sheets. It does not show the colors sheet remaining all the sheets. It will show in drop down automatically. So here you can print a timetable 
okay so here you can download easily the excel file of your timetable so i downloaded it and i will open it how it's look like so you can see here the timetable for that particular class i successfully downloaded in excel sheet so this is our timetable web app so now time to set up for it okay so when i am going to click here so you can see this type of setup in your end uh, like this type of setup in your end you just need to click on make a copy when you click on make a copy you will see this type of sheet in front of you you just need to click on extensions click on the app script icon and when you click on the app script icon you just need to click on the deploy and click on the new deployment when you click on the new deployment sometimes it's blank so you don't panic you just click on this setting icon click on the web app and here you can select anyone so click on the deploy when you click on the deploy it will take time and ask your permissions so you give him a permissions to and after your permissions granted it will give you a link like this so you can use this link and send to your students staff this link to show their timetable of their classes okay so this is your timetable web app hope you like it any instructions you given wa you want to given about this web app to improve this version our comment section is open for you you can tell us which modifications need to improve this web app so take care meet you in next futuristic video okay sir take care